Hello everybody, thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is Chris from Cinema Trailer News and this will be my breakdown for Miss Marvel episode 4. A really great episode. We get a little more insight in Kamala's powers and what he can do and very cool character introductions here. So let's get into the breakdown. Episode 4 title scene Ray features the introduction of a Miss Marvel character from the comments. This is Red Dragon, who we talked about in just a bit. We join everyone mid fly heading out to Pakistan over the PA we can hear the pilot speaking uh, you do. And there's a lot of cultural reference laid to out the episode. We also see Kamala wearing her green pilot jacket that was based on Kevin Denver's fly suit. Nice little touch on this and that it also has the Captain Marvel's logo too. Kamala is standing holding on into a napping pillow which is a slur as we know from the first episode her YouTube channel is titled Baby Slur Productions. She's been doing well we all did as a kid and drinking Canada drink, which I used to, used to. We see her testing Nakia, which the na I suppose they all uh, they have Wi-Fi on planes now. Anyway, this test message is far cry from the new science and animation that we got in the first episode. In that entry, Kamala was constantly going off into fantasy, which was shown in the graphics and that was used. However, here is thrown down massively, just suggesting that she has come to grips with the real world and no longer carries the childhood-like wonder that she once had. In Karachi, she can succor not only her cousins, Sanib and Awais, but also her grandmother. She instantly goes off on her daughter, being like, are you on a diet? Anyway, Karachi is called the City of Light, and these locations, of course, is upon the powers to manipulate her light that the Bengal has. Karachi is a very important location, as I we also shown on the front of the train in the vision last week. At her grandmother's, she comes across a room with several newspapers clipping detailed history events in the country. The first one showcases several people's and a train station, which I believe comes from the petitions journey that we talk about the they was talk about in the early in the season. We also have the birth of Pakistan and Clembing which discussed the law Mountbatin the victory of India and he and oversaw the petition. Several decades later he was assassinated by the AR in 1979. There's also a mention of a tribute to Kwar Isam, which means great leader. The surname name Jinnah regrets to Muhammad Ali Jannah was the first governor general. This is very much her grandmother way to remember as so much we was lost during the petition. She also sees a picture of Aisha and hears the, about the fact that she's a yin. Now we slowly started to learn more about the banger and last week we saw how the clerk Destin came across a definite attached to a blue arm which I think black, backs up the TV that this is actually Cree origin. I thought that this is the NCU versions of uh, Mega Bands and I think that these arms back up that TV. We watch as Kamala travel to out. There could be the negative zone when she puts on it. And the bands are also of queer origins. They were gifted to cut them more well by the Supreme Intelligence. But they come with a curse as they trap one inside the negative zone. In the comments, Marvel became trapped in this and all and all after Rick Jones found the other one. 
he used to switch places back and forth with Marvel in the opening of episode 3 that we talk about they need two in order to travel home so I think that there will be another one that pops up in the series potentially it might be allowed then but to return home by having to switch places with someone in their home now there's also a carving of the ten rings on the floor potentially making this one one of Wen Wu's temples. The ten rings themselves also came across from an alien world, namely the McLean's home planet. The banger could end up being from the same place, in the same from the same technology as the rings. Are uh, there? There was even a hint that to the rings in the first episode. So, so I kind of have a theory that will learn more about this connection in the Marvels. The Marvel arc or script, Kyra work alongside him. Kamala is going to uh, be in that movie. The Bangor itself might be Kree and so on for. We might even get a cameo by Brie Larson at the end of the series. And who knows, the power source used to shop, shop up the Bangor and send the clandestine home might be end up being duped up by her. I do think they will in fact get home and that the ending will be somewhat of a happy one from them even they are the bad guy for now. Now from here she heard the story of the star once more and confirms that it's the same train from the vision. This episode is heavily beat it in issue 12 of Miss Marvel and it actually opens up with her in the apple before she travels to her grandmother's lots of similar setup devices with her traveling throughout the apple and she also learns a lot of her history at her grandmother if you want to read the comic book for free you can actually get it by scanning the QR code at 1432 minutes which is one of the photographers then after a dream in which she sees several vision commanders go on to the book club for lunch however they are allowed inside because of the policy of jeans and outside they meet Kamala's auntie the tour to the street of old town really great scene that kind of gives you a quick run to of the culture dress and style we can also see Kamala is wearing a New Jersey Avengers gun, which of course was a big thing in the first episode after getting very useful directions to Karachi Station. Kamala heads out there to see if she can piece together anything. She ends up going into a restricting zone and she does her, ma her Miss Marvel mask. As she moves throughout the area, we can catch an Ant-Man mural and thus showcase the character growing from small to big. Here she's ambushed by Red Dagger, which is leads into a fight. Red Dagger is played by Aramish Knight, Knight, who you may recognize from Into the Badlands. This is a character that doesn't make all the many appearances in the comments, but over the last couple of years, slowly he started to drop in some titles. Karim, aka the Red Dragon, so first appeared in Miss Marvel Volume 4, issue 12. This was post-Civil War 2 and he popped up when Kamala went to Pakistan to discover her heritage. This is similar to the show which is being brought to Karachi to learn more about the vision of the train and Nana and her banger. In the source material, Kamala meets Karin at her grandmother's home and he says he was studying for his university entrance exam. After an awkward first meeting, they started to hit it off and they became best pair. The pair meet again in the vigilante personas when Kamala st stopped an illegal subsoil or well operation. And here she comes across the Red Dragon in his vigilante disguise, which is called Miss Marvel, warning and blowing up a trap because she was pretty careless and didn't understand the complex local situation. She also didn't check with the other local heroes before she doing this mission and it was a very much a lesson for Kamala. 
something similar ends up happening in this episode during the chase three weeks Kamala turns into a disaster because Kamala isn't fully ready Karin also keeps Kamala in the aftermath of a battle with knockoff of the inventory Gregory knows again just as Bruno had returned from Wakanda he returned to Karachi realizing the new Yossi was Kamala domain and that he needed to go and protect his home while Kamala looked after hers Ka Kamala and Daga kind of fight Taina stalemates and she makes fun of him learning her to jump like the from the Ninja Turtles. Dagger will pass by saying Ducking Kong, which is of course a platform game. Dagger said, Come with me if you want to live, which is of course a play on the Terminator 2 line. Kamala is taken to the Red Dragon, and we see the girl is highly integrated in the area. And they are their own hideout hidden in a restaurant. This shows that the locals are very certain of the heroes and they will do anything to help and hide them. Inside she means Wally that we discuss the red scarf and its meaning. The red scarf is something Kamala updates in the comments for her custom as we know from the trailer someone that this will be appear as part of her outfit in the show too. Wally is played by Fahar Ati, a big Bollywood star, who is a nice addition to the show. They are very much discuss the difference between the legend of the genie and the reality of it. Thor is brought up as being someone who will be considered as a genie if he crashes in the right area, and therefore this very much seems as gods. The clandestine are from a all-nighter world. And they also go over different dimensions. The no is the only thing dividing the walls. Though I mentioned before that it could be the negative zone, it could be just more of a straightforward than that. We discover if he's destroyed, the clandestine world will ravage 61C. While Lee is also points the inscription in the banger. We cut to damage control Superman's prison, which pretty much looks exactly how it did in the Chi Hawk trailer the clandestine are being taken in and they are managed to escape and, uh, and fight damage control forces who fire sonic weapons on them this was also seen in the she hot teaser and my guess is the uh, fire conclusive brass karam is ditched by then due to his choice last week just to present those family split up, we see Kamala's grandmother is fine with her trying to figure out who she is. She talks about the identity with her trying to figure her struggle due to the England messing everything up and there is some insistence that Kamala finds in it. She meets Karim and just to hang out with her his friends a really just chilling scene. You also get a great mother and daughter, the father say, and I think it's probably one has the most fleshed out side characters in any Disney Plus show. Manu had this guy when she fled to America that she couldn't take the story of her each other about how they made her look to others. We have from the daggers, Kamala ends up training her further, and she also is given a blue waist coat, which of course later be adapted into her costume. At this point, they are attacked by the clandestine, which lead to Wally taking them on by himself. We then get a tuk tuk chasing, uh, arson chasing to the street, coming Wally and Kamala and Sam walking together to San Esteban. Uh, but it's a heap of a mess in the streets. Wally ends up leaving himself open to attack in order to save Karin Kamala and the young kills him, showing his her ruthless. And she is, this is eye for an eye mentality leads to Dagger taking out a clandestine member and Nama stabs the banger, which ends up transporting Kamara back in time to the partition. She sees the train head on like she, she saw in the vision, making 
maintain their chief swap places with Aisha. As we discussed earlier, the bangle in the comments uh, switch it out and uh, cut the Marvel and Wick Jones so it could be end up doing the same thing here. So I actually think that Kamala and uh being the one who leads her grandmother using the stars to guide her and this is why the person who didn't was never seen though I was thought to be Aisha with Kamala being in the past this will make a lot of sense therefore she will likely keep uh, out of sight, save her grandma, and then potentially find Aisha to discover what is going on. So that's my breakdown for episode 4 of Miss Marvel. If you like this video, hit the like button, consider subscribing to the channel, and thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.